To say the original Army of Endgame is a bit rough is an understatement. You hope games like that get a sequel that turns the series around, but a lot of the time, the sequel is just more of the same. Thankfully, Army of Men 2 is an example of the former. The first game may have been somewhere between hot garbage and painfully okay, but Army of Men 2 took that, fixed virtually everything that the first game did wrong, and produced a product that's not just much better than the original, but genuinely great. Just like how a lot of people ignore Wolfenstein and Duke Nukem until the 3D games, a lot of people don't bother with the original Army Men and just pick up at 2, and I honestly can't blame them. After all, this was my first Army Men game. Army Men 2 picks up immediately after the end of the first game. Sarge has largely foiled the tan plot to utilize their super weapon against the green, but not completely. Portals between the plastic world and the real world are now open, creating an entirely new front in the green versus tan war. The first level drops you out of a portal and onto a kitchen counter. You have to fight your way around to the other side of the U-shaped counter, through not only tan soldiers but giant cockroaches, and find the portal to return to the plastic world. Once there, you fight your way through to a radio station to try to stop a tan sabotage plot. That's largely how the campaign goes. A couple of missions in the plastic world, a couple of missions in the real world, a couple more missions in the plastic world, etc. Between the switch between worlds and the varied environments within those worlds, that makes sure that the game never begins to feel stale. The campaign isn't super long anyway, it only took me about four and a half hours to complete, but what that campaign lacks in quantity of hours, it definitely makes up for in quality. About halfway through the game, you discover one of the tan super weapons in this game. With the help of an insane gray scientist, they have constructed a machine that takes the plastic pieces of dead soldiers and reanimates them into plastic zombies. These zombies are extremely tough to kill, and if you want a little more challenge, and a lot more chaos, there's a cheat you can enable that will spawn a zombie every time a soldier dies. Personally, I love this because these guys are already made entirely out of plastic, so it's not quite as left field as if you were playing through a battlefield game and Russian corpses started reanimating and trying to eat you. In addition to the short but extremely fun campaign, there's also a multiplayer mode. I'm not sure if this still works online, I honestly never checked, but what I always do is set up a game against AI bots and have a huge green versus tan versus gray versus blue four-way fight. You can select your map, select a certain number of units to start with, including vehicles, and if you want, have a bathtub meat grinder. This is one of the most important improvements over the first game, at least to me. The campaign is significantly better, but it is very short, shorter than the original games. The multiplayer, however, is several orders of magnitude better, and it alone could keep me entertained for an entire day, sun up to sun down. Aside from the gameplay and controls, everything else about this game is superior to the original as well. Visually, it still looks like a game from a quarter century ago, but it does look much better than the previous game. Sound design doesn't even feel like the same series. Whereas the original game's sound design and music were downright painful after a level or two, the weapon sound effects are much improved here, and the soundtrack is not only tolerable, but legitimately good and fits the tone of the game to a T. The voice acting, while still turn of the century, gives English dubs a bad name quality, it is also much improved over what the first game had. Army Men 2 is one of the single most nostalgic games for me, and it reminds me of my early childhood. Back before clicks, before we started liking girls and or boys, Back when my friend Richard and I were just a couple of military-obsessed eight-year-olds, before he went off to the Navy and I went off to become a teacher, there was Army Men, and it was our prepubescent boyhood daydreams come to life. Army Men 2 isn't the best PC game, it's not the best turn-of-the-century game, and it's honestly not even the best Army Men game. But it is probably my favorite Army Men game, 
and that's entirely because of the period of my life of which it evokes these memories. And even aside from nostalgia, it's a seriously fun game, and like the first Army Men game, it's dirt cheap on GOG, so go and download it ASAP. My rating for Army Men 2 on PC is a B.